stand in the barber's chair this week. They were born one sunny day in Brisbane, Australia. They hit the big time as the neighbourly girls next door. They're now dandruff-free party girls and potential pop stars. We're seeing double trouble with Gail and Gillian Blakeney. I don't even know which one I'm doing. I'll, I'll, I'll be mean and I'll make you guess. I think you're both going to go in and out of the different people all the time, aren't you? Well, actually, we are both. Just every morning we wake up and I say, I'm going to be Gail today. And she says, I'm going to be Gillian. <laughs> today, I decided to be Gillian. Which one of you two is the better actress? Oh, definitely me. <laughs> <laughs> this is not no going to be fair. Why? Haven't you watched the show? Now and again, yes. Come on, why? You tell me if you've watched the show. Doesn't that mean I'm throwing the questions back in his face? It is mean. You're so mean. Come but on, I'll, I, I wanna, I'll... she's the better singer. I'm the better dancer. She knows that. I know that. And you, you agree on that? Yeah. And I've got... It's just like saying I've got longer hair and she's got shorter hair. It's a fact. Which one of the two is the better actress? Oh, um, well, that's a very difficult question. I've never really thought about it. I think I'm a pretty good Thank actress, you know. and I think Gillian's acting is quite good. But obviously, if I have to make a decision, I say I would be. <laughs> yeah, that's predictable. Which part of your body would you like to swap with your twin? Not a thing. I'm oh, quite... Well, so the thing is, we've got exactly the same body type. And I'm very happy with what I've got. There's nothing I'd, I'd steal from her at all. What's your worst possible defect, then? The knees. The thankfully, knees. thankfully you can't you see, see my knees. knees. They're like radiator caps. Look at them. <laughs> They're so knobby. They're quite a shame, aren't they? <laughs> Which part of your body would you swap with your sister? Uh, well, no, if you... If you know which, you know, if is you your worst... We're very, very effect. similar. Very similar. Very, very similar, in fact, you know... But do you do that on purpose? No, we were born that way. No, I'm talking about the fact that you dress similarly and No, you... we don't. I've got a long Lisa Rue's dress on and she has the short little mini. Of course, we both like wearing black and we like gold accessories and things. Um, oh, but, but physically, we are very similar. We have the same ugly knees, same pear-shaped behinds. I have a slightly bigger chest, if you really have to find out the minor details. But I suppose with Gillian, Gillian has, um, Gillian, I think Gillian has a nicer bone structure. Perhaps I would like her refined features, so to speak. Big, 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 big. At night, one of you decides to bring back a man friend. Which one of you is, you know, is going to cause the most commotion and make the most noise? Oh, that's rather a <laughs> personal question. Yes, I'll have a pin as well. Oh, well, there aren't any pins to give you, you see. Could we have some pins? Thank you. Um, I'm not going to answer that question because oh, I don't want to shock people. <laughs> because it's you. I'm sweet and innocent, it. and so is she, and we don't know what you're talking about. Why would we bring a man friend back late at night? <laughs> well, a man, now let's just clarify this situation. Oh, for God's sake. A man would be a boyfriend. Yeah, okay? Okay, good, yes. And it could also be just a friend coming back for an innocent coffee, which invariably it is. Um, noisy, I'm the noisy one because I'm like a baby, baby elephant, as my father calls me. But it depends what you mean by noisy. <laughs> I was staying at a certain hotel once, and uh, she was in the room next to me, <clears throat> and she was quite noisy. <gasps> but in our apartment, her bedroom's on one end and mine's on the other, and um, she goes to bed before I do normally, so... Well, that explains her. Yeah, she must be the lucky one. <laughs>
Name me one man that you both fancy. We have very different tastes in men. Yeah, you've already said that she um, likes. There's obviously a man in the, in the public eye. Yeah, um, or a type of man. A type of man? No, it's easy to answer. Yeah, it is actually. Public eye. Um, no, question too hard. Oh, come on, we'll have to come back to it. Okay. I'm, I'm desperate for an it. answer for this one. Okay. You, Nikki. <laughs> we both fancy you. <laughs> that was the answer I was looking for. Well, actually. you got it. <laughs> oh, goodness. We both think Brad Pitt's rather gorgeous. Yeah. Um, Predictable. Yeah, go on. Who else? Oh, gosh. We, 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 you know, if we ever met a man and we were both single, just per chance, we're quite diplomatic about it. I can assess pretty quickly, and so she, she can as well, decide who he's more suited to. So the other no, one just one steers clear. Yeah. But we obviously... Oh, it's not the kind of knife in the back saying, I saw him oh, first. Oh, never. There's no bitchiness between us. Um, Gillian goes for better looking men than I do. She, you know, she does. She goes for, for looks more so than I do, definitely. So, you, so you've never been approached by somebody who would kind of like to take both of you to bed? Yeah, well, every now and then you get that suggestion. <laughs> and how do you deal with it? You don't. You don't even acknowledge it. <laughs>